Linux Mint 22.3, codename Xena, is almost here. This isn't a radical rewrite. It's a focused, polished release that brings a refreshed cinnamon menu, smarter file handling in Nemo, time shift improvements, and useful little upgrades across the system that make day-to-day -day work smoother. Let's unpack what's new and how you can test the beta safely. Quick overview. Xena is the next point release in the 22.x family. The Mint team is preparing a beta in early December, with a final rollout expected later. The release focuses on refinement, UI polish, better utilities, and continued work on Wayland compatibility, rather than dramatic new features. If you care about a cleaner cinnamon experience and quality of life improvements, this one is for you. Cinnamon and UI changes. The big visible change is the redesigned cinnamon menu. Category icons have been added and the menu gets a visual refresh that makes navigation faster and cleaner. This update stems from the new XApp Symbolic Icons initiative, which standardizes iconography across the desktop and apps, a small change that improves consistency across themes and high DPI setups. Nemo, file manager improvements. Nemo gets some genuinely useful features. You'll see regular expression file name matching in searches, great for advanced users who rely on patterns, and the ability to pause and resume file transfers, which is hugely helpful for big copies or flaky networks. Nemo will also better integrate templates and show custom icons for Nemo actions installed from the Spices repository, improving workflow and visual feedback. Utilities, time shift, warpinator, hypnotics. Captain. Several system utilities are getting upgrades. Timeshift will support pause, resume during snapshot creation, which helps on slower machines. Warpinator can now send text messages between devices and adds IPv6 support, handy if you use multiple devices on modern networks. Hypnotics, the IPTV app, hides the cursor in full screen playback for a cleaner experience, and the new package handler, Captain, can install multiple packages from apt URLs at once, a convenience for power users and script automation. Wayland and under the hood. Cinnamon 6.6 .6 continues incremental Wayland work, so users see fewer regressions when running Wayland sessions. Importantly, Linux Mint 22.3 is being built on top of Ubuntu 24.04 LTS, so it inherits a newer HWE kernel updated GPU drivers, and the Ubuntu base's security updates and package fixes, a solid foundation for both stability and newer hardware support. Who should try the beta? If you maintain a daily driver production machine, wait for the stable release. If you're comfortable troubleshooting, like to test new desktop polish, or maintain hardware that benefits from newer kernels and drivers, the beta is a good chance to help find regressions and give feedback to the Mint team. How to test safely. To test the beta, back up your system. Time shift is perfect for that. Use a spare PC or VM and download the ISO only from Linux Mint's official site or the beta announcement links in their blog post. If you find bugs, report them to the project so they can be fixed before stable release. That's the quick tour of Linux Mint 22.3 Xena. If you want a deep, feature-by-feature -feature breakdown, I'll link the official progress notes in the description. Hit like if you found this helpful, subscribe for the full walkthrough once the beta drops, and leave a comment if you want me to test a particular feature. See you in the next video! Thank <laughs> you.